Hello everyone. This is Mustafa, program specialist from Sony India. Hope everyone staying safe and healthy. In this video, we are going to cover the topic which was frequently asked question from the users of X70, Z150 and FS5 users. The question is, is there is any possibilities to do the Wi-Fi live streaming same as like Z90 and NX80 which was recently launched from the Sony where you can do the live streaming from the camera directly to the YouTube and Facebook. In the same way, we also want to do the live streaming in our cameras since we have Wi-Fi future. Let's answer those questions in this video more in detail. But before that, the answer is yes, you can also do the Wi-Fi live streaming same as like NX80 and Z90 but you have to follow the certain protocols and requirements. In this video, we are going to see what are those requirements and how to do the live streaming from our X70, Z150 and FS5 cameras. Let's get into the video more in detail. Now. I have my camera and my laptop as well as my mobile phone to provide the Wi-Fi hotspot to the camera and the laptop. Let's see how to transfer the video signal from the camera to the laptop by using the Wi-Fi feature. Once I receive the video signal to the laptop, thereon I will show you how to transfer that signal to the YouTube and Facebook by using the OBS software. Let's get into the practical demonstration. Once you switch on the camera, get into the menu and go to the network set. Once you go to the network set, you will find Wi-Fi set. In the Wi-Fi set, you can see access point. The moment you click the access point, it will scan the local Wi-Fi network which is available near to the device. Here, this is my Wi-Fi network. So where I already feed my password details, so it was already get connected. So I am connecting it and it is getting registered. Once it is registered, which means your camera was connected to the internet. Now, go back to the network set. There you can find the streaming option. Get into that. Then go to the preset select. Then select the size, which means the resolution which you want to stream. So I am selecting 1218 to 720. Here, this is a very important thing which you want to do it in a pretty precise way, which is called destination set. Here, you can once you click the destination set, you will find a host name and the port. The host name is nothing but is the IP address where you want to transfer the video signal from the camera to the destination port. Get into the start menu and type CMD. Command prompt will pop up. Just open the command prompt and type IPconfig. I P C O N F I G. The moment you click the enter, you can find the IP address easily. Don't get confused. This is the IP address that you want to feed in your camera. This is a very important step. You don't want to make any mistake. Then if you commit any mistake, the signal will not get transferred. Once you are done with your IP, then is a port. Port is as you wish. It's anything as you wish. Once you are done, give OK. Go back. Then execute. The moment you click the execute, you can find Wi-Fi or wired LAN. Right now I am using Wi-Fi, so I am clicking Wi-Fi. The moment you click the Wi-Fi device, device will load the Wi-Fi features and the IP address, everything. It will take less than four seconds. Once you are done, you are going to get the screen like this. You can find the icon over here, which was empty right now, where you didn't start your stream as of now. Which means once you press the thumbnail, the stream will start. Now, see the change over there. So the streaming is started. The camera portion was done. Camera is transferring its signal. Now, come back to the laptop. Open the VLC player, go to the media and you can find the open network stream. The moment you open the network stream, you can able to see the screen. The screen will pop up like this. There you have to type these characters which only you want to change the port name according to what you have feed. Apart from that, no character has to be changed. If you miss any one of the characters in this, you can't able to transfer the video signal into the laptop. Once you are done with that, give play. There you go. You will get the live feed from the camera to the laptop without any wire by using the Wi-Fi hotspot. Now, let's see how to transfer this signal from the laptop to the YouTube and Facebook. Before closing the VLC, I am going to save this as a playlist. Go to the media, save as a playlist and make a note over here. This is the right format that you have to save. .m3u. Save. That's it. 
this is done now i am opening the obs studio before getting into software i want to make an important note here that if your system have the capability of a 32 bit then install a 32 bit of obs software as well as a vlc software then only your stream will happen seamlessly so i have to download this software from my windows if you're using a mac you can use a mac according to your system requirement already i have installed this obs studio 64 bit so it is there now this is done then moving to the one more thing since we are uh, doing a stream through a vlc there is one more plugin to download here you can find the two, two different types of links one is for 32 bit another one is for 64 bit uh, according to the system requirements you can download this uh, plugin now i am downloading this 64 bit uh, plugin which is required for my machine once you open the file you have to extract this you have to copy these two files go to the system c drive program files where you have installed this obs software go to the obs studio and obs plugin 64 bit and copy those two files over here open the obs studio software now you can find that vlc video source from there on it is easy to do the live stream i will provide all these download links in the description kindly go through the descriptions and download the necessary softwares and the plugins and kindly do follow the steps what i did getting into the software you will have this kind of panel then getting into the scene create a scene for example z150 stream okay then go to the source here you can find the vlc video source the moment you got this vlc video source getting into that again name as source z150 or whatever z150 streaming now find them once you open you can able to this kind of screen now getting into the playlist go to the add column add files the playlist which you have saved go to the destination port then open it over here then ok done here we go that's it your stream already started and here we go your live feed from the camera is there in obs here you have to open the settings before start streaming once you open the settings you can able to see the stream go to it then you can see which platform that you want to share this live feed this is the important thing where you don't want to commit any of the mistake if you did anything wrong the stream will not going to happen so watch carefully now open my youtube channel there you can find this go live once you click the go live there will be an option called stream which means which we are used last time which you if you want to use the same stream key or you want a different stream key it depends upon you now i am going to do a new one now coming below there you can find this is the stream key just copy and paste it over there done now the obs software starts streaming now let me check into my youtube channel going into the stream there you can find the screen now you can see earlier it was no data now you can find the excellent connection which means the already signal was received over here the loading there will be a latency of 10 to 15 seconds it depends upon the bandwidth what we are using so now since i am using my mobile network there will be some latency but yeah here we go now from the camera to the laptop without any wire the stream starts this is how it's going to happen now you can share this url to the client where they can enjoy the live feed of your camera now it is completely wireless which is can only possible with the sony easy simple steps to follow and you can achieve this live streaming in easy way this is the power of sony hope everyone liked the video and also got the answer for your questions please do follow the steps what i did and enjoy the live stream thank you so much for watching this video